Too often, scientists quickly dismiss many cryptids as folklore. They point to many things, such as a lack of a body, few witness sightings, and other factors that don't support the existence of the creature. However, just because a creature is extinct now doesn't mean it didn't exist at one point in human history. We've seen this with many animals, such as the massive Titanoboa snakes scientists dismiss as just tall tales. While there's much debate over many animals thought extinct, one thing is clear though, Earth has had some dangerous and scary creatures throughout history. In today's episode, we will examine a creature that was observed for centuries in South America. As recent sightings have dropped though, many quickly dismiss this animal as simple folklore. However, as we will see, there's good reason to believe this massive monster did indeed exist and existed not too long ago. This creature is known as the Minocoa. The Minocoa is described as a large earthworm type cryptid that once existed or perhaps still exists in the jungles of South America. It resembles a giant worm with scaly black skin, has a mouth, and also has a strange pair of tentacle-like structures coming from its head. Some say it has a pig-like snout, and some accounts show the cryptid as being 40 feet, while other witnesses say it is easily over 100 feet long. Much is not known about the creature, but many theories exist as to its behavior and where it lives. It is believed to be an animal that burrows, producing extremely deep trenches as it digs. From these tracks, many estimate the body width to be around 10 feet. Reportedly, houses and other structures have collapsed due to the Minocoa burrowing underneath. The creature is also known to alter waterways with the deep paths that it produces. The tunnels made by the animal are said to occur most often after heavy rain, indicating that the Minocoa is more active during heavy rains. Some believe they only come out in the rain. Many say the lack of sightings by humans was explained by the Minocoa having retiring habits or going under the ground. It is also reported by some to attack other large animals like livestock and while in the water to attack from below. Although there hasn't been a documented sighting of the creature in 130 years, that certainly wasn't the case in the 1800s and before then. In December 1846, French naturalist Augustin Saint Hilaire recalled stories of the Minocoa in the Padre Aranda and Fia Lakes in Brazil. He and others had been told about the creature by locals in Brazil when they arrived. Aranda witnessed the creature and said they lived in the lakes and had often dragged horses and horned cattle under the water. He believed Minacoa to be related to the Mincoa, Portuguese for earthworm. Decades later, more documented writings would occur. In 1878, German naturalist Dr. Fritz Müller summarized in Nature, a scientific journal, the Minocoa. This article was largely based on the sightings by Curitibanos resident Senor Labino. In May of that year, Müller said he was contemplating bringing a dead corpse of one over to Europe. It garnered much interest with a London newspaper proposing in the early 20th century to send an expedition to Brazil to find out if the Minocoa actually exists. In the article, Labino claimed the monster lived in the highlands in the south of the country, and he described it 
as a gigantic earthworm, 50 yards in length and five in width, and covered with bones as if it were the coat of mail. Another sighting comes from Francisco de Amar Barea, who stated that the creature had a snout similar to a pig. Other sightings would occur, and variations on features and size would vary. One account said the creature had a horn. In 1849, there was a claim sighting of a Minakoa corpse that was discovered. It was said to have skin which was as thick as the bark of a pine tree and formed of hard scales like those of an armadillo. Various theories exist as to what the creature is exactly. In the book On the Track of Unknown Animals, Bernard Huvelmans suggests that the animal may be a surviving glyptodon. Glyptodons were giant armadillos that once existed that were the size of a car. However, critics of this theory point out that there is quite a difference between what's seen and this prehistoric creatures. Also, there's no evidence these prehistoric creatures displayed burrowing behavior. Another theory comes from cryptozoologist Carl Schuker. He suggested that this animal may be an example of a giant Sicilian. Sicilian are amphibians with worm-like, limbless bodies, subterranean, and tentacle-like sense organs on the head. Moreover, they live in the jungles of South America. This does fit the description of the Minakoa quite well. Still, skeptics will point out that this animal are not even close to the size of the cryptid. While it's not entirely clear what this monster is, or if it still exists, it's evident that back in the 1800s and prior, there were many reports surrounding the creature. In this episode, we have only discussed the documented reports, meaning reports by the few Europeans who ventured into the jungles of Brazil. It should be said that many, many more reports could exist if there was documentation from local tribes. Also, we can speculate that this creature is primarily composed of soft tissue and perhaps that's why bones have never been found. It's also important to note that these creatures live deep in the jungles of the Amazon, not a place many venture to. The final question remains though, could this cryptid still exist today. Admittedly, the evidence is somewhat against it, as there hasn't been a documented sighting in 130 years, with many more non-natives exploring the jungle. Still, the Amazon is a massive, dense jungle, and it's surely possible these creatures spend the majority of their time underground. Even more so, if they live underground in the dark, we can guess that they might only come out at night, and as discussed earlier, primarily come out in deep downpours. From this, it's at least plausible to believe they could exist, as those dark and wet conditions are not exactly the ideal environment for humans to witness the creature.